Okay, so this is the vlog for March 10th. And oh, what a day, what a lovely day. <laughs> That's a quote from a movie uh, that is not at all lovely. It's very ugly. It's Mad Max Fury Road. But today was quite the opposite. It was not furious. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. It was 60 degrees, sunny, clear skies, just warm enough that I could walk around wearing only my silly JoJo Do You Even Pose shirt. No jacket, nothing. I don't know if it's obvious from my voice. It'd be interesting for me to watch one of these last week when I'm healthy and then watch one from this week where I am not. Um, I'm still sick. I'm getting over this cold. I took in a leave with dinner. That will, that will hopefully reduce some of the swelling um, in my throat. I went to bed last night at 9 p.m. I basically made this and then crawled in bed. I think I played a little bit of video game stuff and something just popped up computers updating me something probably installing mal malware anyway <clears throat> um went to bed at nine got up at eight that's not actually true i went to bed at nine and then i got up at 11 and then i got up at three and then i got up at 5 55 and then i got up at eight uh the real problem area there was a period from about uh 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. ish. Um, but overall, somewhere in there, I got three good hours of sleep, and I felt much better this morning than I have waking up uh, at all last week. And uh, I hope that means I'm on the mend. I hope that means that I am finally getting rid of this illness. Just right now, my throat feels really good. Uh, it's probably the relief. Um, might seem weird that I take a leave, but that is due to the arthritis that I was diagnosed with at 33. Uh, that the doctor assumed was a sporting-related injury, and he obviously didn't know me very well because I don't do a lot of sports. Best I can guess, it actually came from a period I was playing Ultimate Frisbee. I was ta taking pretty good care of myself when I was 33, but I was running backwards to catch a Frisbee, and I ran into another guy who was smaller than me, so he probably ended up worse than I did. But uh, I did feel a twinge in my back, and then uh, later when I was complaining of back pain to the doctor, he had an x-ray done and saw scoring, which indicated arthritis. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, that's something that I've noticed getting older. I, I deal with pain a little bit more often than I'd like. I need to take better care of myself. Um, I'm not terribly interested in losing weight, but I do want to do more to be active than I am currently doing, and I should definitely eat better. Um, although I eat pretty good. I just, I could eat better, you know. Um, but uh, I don't want to talk about my health. I just want to talk about how wonderful it is to walk around. I do, I, well... I used to do a full loop of six and a half miles from my house through a number of adjoining neighborhoods and then back home again. Um, during the winter, I find it's better if, especially on the weekend, there's a school, an elementary, uh, over in another neighborhood. I park there and then I do a smaller loop around that neighborhood. Don't want to park at the uh, school during school hours. That would be a little weird. Uh, I'm sure somebody would eventually call the cops on me. Um, but when all the kids are at home or out playing like they were today, which was great, kids should definitely, I I, uh, I love seeing kids out and enjoying weather like this. It is so important in this day and age of video games. I know I love video games, but I everything in moderation. I For every hour, for every two hours I spend playing video games, I'd like to spend an hour walking, but it usually doesn't end up being that fraction. Um... But I try and do, on the weekends, when the weather is nice like this, I try and go out and do, you know, at least an hour of walking around just to get the blood flowing. It's it's good because I'm, you know, at work I'm sitting in an office chair all day long. I do a little bit of walking around as necessary to lead a team, but um, <clears throat> it's not ideal. Uh, so on the weekends, and especially during summer, 
I go out and I walk whenever I get a chance. Um, I've considered starting walking in the morning. I would use my mornings to do my writing when I was in the midst of writing the novel. But, uh, you know, it's not that my interest in writing has gone down. It's just sort of... The amount of work it takes to take a manuscript, shrink it down to something workable, to something that I could sell to a publisher is is daunting. Um, and so maybe I'll, I'll start, maybe every other morning I'll, I'll go walking and then uh, the other mornings I'll, I'll keep doing writing. Um, but uh, yeah, morning walks really only work well for me because the, the thing about the arthritis is that it gets really painful when there's a, when it gets really cold, especially if it's been warm and it suddenly gets cold. The change in barometric pressure is part of the stuff that puts pressure on the arthritis and causes the pain. So um, when it's nice during the day, but when it's really cold in the morning or at night, uh, that can be very, very difficult for me to deal with. Uh, but today was perfect, you know, no pain. Um, <clears throat> this is incidentally why old people like to go someplace warm when they retire. It's not just because they love the weather, it's because they love not being in pain all the time. Something I learned. Um, Washington is a pretty mild state, but nights get cold, especially in the winter when it's raining so much, you know, well, it'll drop below 30. It's been dropping below 30 uh, for the first two months of the year. Now that we're in March, it's finally starting to get nice. And I know for a fact that this sudden pleasant burst is not going to last. It's going to last maybe a couple days. If we're lucky, it'll last a week. And we might even get next weekend might be nice as well. But after that, all my all the evidence is that it's going to get cold again. And it's going to sort of drop to 40s and 50s weather for the remainder of March. And then April, you'll see weather that's almost entirely in the 50s. Dipping a little bit below 50 when it's raining and dipping and going a little bit above 50 when it's sunny. May is when the really nice weather starts to happen. And that almost feels like the start of summer for us. Um, it gets much drier. Uh, that's a big thing. April showers bring me flowers. That's what my parents always said. <clears throat> um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> the forecast for tomorrow is even warmer weather than today. It's probably going to be a little bit cloudy. Today was almost perfectly clear. Um, but tomorrow it's supposed to be like 63, and then Monday it's supposed to be sunny again and like 68. Right. But global warming, global weather change is not a phenomenon. Global weather change is a phenomenon. I was being sarcastic. I absolutely believe in global weather change. You just have to look out your window to know that that's a real thing. But try not to be political. Taking an idea like the scientific, you know, debate, all the facts point that what we're doing to the environment is causing all sorts of wild weather. But turning it into something political is just ridiculous. Um, because I think the only reason sometimes that one side opposes it is because the other side supports it. And they're just trying, one side's trying to deface the idea because they want to use it as political clout. Well, okay, we'll give you laws that affect climate change if you give us you know, the stuff that we want, and that's bipartisan. <laughs> I'm talking a lot about politics for somebody who said he wasn't going to talk about politics. It's from watching West Wing all the time. Anyway, um, so I've been Eric Spornitz, and uh, as I mentioned from the forecast, tomorrow should definitely be better. See you then.